Can you believe it's been nearly 10 years since we've had a proper single player Star Wars game? In that time, Disney have bought LucasArts, we've experienced soon to be 5 new movies, as well as countless novels, comic books and content building on a brand new canon. Also a couple of Battlefront games, I guess? But let's try to ignore them. Fret not dear Force users, as the wait is over, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is here. Set between episodes 3 and 4, we follow the story of Cal Kestis, a former Padawan who managed to escape the Jedi slaughter of Order 66. Never finishing his training, we find him as a scrapper, surviving on an Imperial junk planet. And, after an altercation with a gang of the Empire's Jedi Execution Squad, Cal is saved by former Jedi Master Sarah Junda. Together with her surly alien co-pilot Grease, you'll soon be whisked away on an adventure to rebuild the Jedi Order. But after so many misfires, has EA finally released a decent Star Wars game? Watch on to find out. Six. Starting with the story, the first thing you'll notice is that it's very Star Wars-y. It hits all of the plot tropes and cliches we've come to expect over the years without trying anything too off the wall. For example, Cal is your typical Jedi who you can project yourself onto, while the supporting cast are left to chew the scenery and steal the best one-liners. Whether you like this will be very much down to taste, but it definitely feels like it was written with longtime fans in mind. And as one of those longtime suffering nerds, I can confirm the story works for me in a big way. This storytelling is augmented by the world building. Conversations between stormtroopers and random encounters make it feel like a rich, lived-in universe. It's a testament to the writing that you'll find stormtroopers far more endearing than you ever have before. Don't believe me? Well, you'll just have to play it to find out. And yes, there's at least one high ground reference to delight the meme lords everywhere. I'm also happy to report the gameplay is just as good, and pulls from a surprisingly wide range of inspirations. Lightsaber swings have a weight like the melee attacks of God of War, the multi-layered levels have a metroidvanian appeal, and punishing yet rewarding enemies could have been pulled straight out of a Soulsborne. It's a great mixing pot that helps it become something familiar, yet decidedly unique. The only thing that really lets it down is occasional performance dips. I reviewed Fallen Order on the Xbox One X and noticed that entering certain areas caused major frame rate drops. And luckily none of these were a while I was in combat and they did quickly fix themselves. However, these were enough to temporarily break the immersion. And if I don't feel like I'm a Jedi 24-7, I'm not living my best life. And you can take that to the bank. To wrap up, this is the game that Star Wars fans have been waiting for. It captures the charm and essence of what makes the franchise great and combines it with fantastic gameplay with only a few wobbles. Sure, it plays it safe, relying on a lot of the series tropes, but damn it, the fan service works for me. But did it work for you? Let us know if you enjoyed Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more reviews and great content every week.